All right, we're coming up to pick up our first guest. Oh, yeah, he's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. Welcome back. Welcome back episode to two. episode two. <gasps> Drew! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Drew Kibler. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Sir. It's a pleasure. <laughs> um, <Always. laughs> we are so happy to have you. Welcome, Drew. This is for you. Not, episode. not complete without the coffee. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> True. We are so happy to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. You are our first guest. We have so many for you. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, we gotta relax. Yeah, Actually, I know. Maybe not. Maybe just keep, yeah. Keep, keep it going. Okay. <laughs> keep so going. I have my notes here. So just don't don't mind me. Welcome, Drew Kibler. If you guys don't know, Drew is a 2020 Olympian. He's Boom. a world champion, a five-time NCAA champion, a 21-time All-American, a short course world record holder. <laughs> oh my gosh! And not only is he a fantastic swimmer, he's an amazing human, and we're so happy to have him here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. And so not only that, we did a little research too. You <laughs> you majored in psychology and you also what appears like majored in dabbing, which brings us <laughs> I Yo, did. I majored in dabbing for a few years. Really? Hey. You, you're, you are pretty you, good at you're it. You're pretty good at it. This brings us to our first seg, first seg, first segment oh, called oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Are You Kibbing Me? <laughs> are you, <laughs> I ain't never kibbing. Are you kibbing me? That's a, that's a solid that's a solid dab photo. Is, is, is this popping one. up on the screen? It will be popping up All on right, the screen, sweet. yeah. <laughs> so, and this one. Are you kibbing me? I mean, what I really strive for here is the... The, know, the the line yeah. it's the geometry we we're yeah. talking about yeah. just a few seconds ago yeah. i train a lot yeah that's that was, good. it's in the shadows what's the like what's the tip here do you have to get yeah. air first and then you gotta it's try. it's all one it's fluidity nothing's forced every just yeah and you just find your line per really? that's find your, perfect find the line. Yeah. Yeah. are you kidding me with this one? Oh shoot we're throwing are it back you, to are you, yeah. little 17 year old drew i think <laughs> Shoo! Yeah. No, no tats. Nah, Leia, look at that. I'm wow, totally bare. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Except for so, my swimsuit. So. <laughs> mm, <laughs> with the bro zone hair, too. Okay. Damn, bro. Uh, what about this one? Oh, <laughs> see, there we go. I, I think, <laughs> what? Updated. How many years? Like, I wanted it to be a yearly thing, but it fell uh, after two years. That's just my kaching. I don't know. Mm. Oh, ching ching! I we saw there, that. There, there's, there's the dab and then there's the kaching. The, they're different things. I made, I minored in kaching. Oh, oh yeah, the kaching's pretty good, bro. You have, but you could tell, it, like, I didn't spend as much time. Nah, on my, like for sure, kaching pieces. Yeah, uh, your dabs are a lot it's more. So, they're a lot more thorough mm -hmm. and researched. Are you kidding me with this are one? Are you kidding me? Uh, that was a great yeah. moment. Great moment. Yeah. What? Well, what about that? It was my first long course gold medal, and that was, you know. The story behind that is that we had missed the medal uh, at the Tokyo Olympics, and so mm -hmm. to come back and win in dominating fashion, everybody yes. put up a great performance. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. To, be a part and to of get that. to get gold, bro. That's yeah, sick. what a squad too. Yeah, it felt so good. Awesome. Felt really good. With the boys. How was it being on a relay with your teammate, like your buddy from from Texas? Oh my Carson. gosh! So actually, I just saw Carson a few days ago because he was in town. And, oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. He. Uh, I, I try to describe people the way like spending time with him um, yeah. and also Meredith his fiance yeah. it makes me feel like they're just such great people he's such a good person I lived with him for a long time in yeah. Texas you live with him yeah oh, yeah we were, no we were roommates for a little while and um, yeah just a really really great person in all ways he makes me better he motivates me and also super funny like this morning like we just have like a sense of humor this morning he sent me a message i could i couldn't even breathe i was laughing so hard <laughs> and uh yeah and so to, to stand there on the world stage with the gold medal next to him was awesome super yeah. awesome he's a great guy and he's hilarious yeah uh, I, I met him this past worlds and, oh, that, was and he's awesome. that was i mean i've met him but yeah. it was like my first time having like, like more time yeah spending more time with him and he's awesome such a chill guy shout out Car shout out carson come on carson come on. Cats man yes sir that's man we're in your favorite Tejas hat here. Oh, you're looking good. Come on, we'll do a little right? zoom on that one. We'll do a little <laughs> zoom on that one. <laughs> and that concludes our segment of... Oh.
<laughs> I try, I'm trying to sit down. So going back to being a psych major, I was I found that fascinating. I was a psych major. And so I just wanted to ask, like we wanted to know like what made you choose being a psych major? What was your favorite part about being a psych major? Well, mm -hmm. um so I was actually not going to be a psych major. I was actually okay. gonna go into engineering because I was re really passionate about that. I still right. I love that sort of thing. Yeah. But I took an AP psych class in high school mm -hmm. and I just read that textbook like it was a novel I loved Dang. it so much it didn't feel like work yeah. I was so passionate about it I've always been passionate about like people and that sort yeah. of thing and so yeah. uh yeah and I just I knew after that AP psych class I'm like this is so dope I called up my Texas person I'm like switch me out I need to do psychology and wow. then look back and I loved it and so my favorite thing about psychology hmm I'd like that it is like omnipresent and there's no time when you're not using something and yeah. and it's not like it's like oh I'm gonna you know, psychoanalyze everything yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. can just see little elements of it everywhere whether it's like just personal relationships or something very impersonal like business right like and it just yeah. it's just all over the place and then of course swimming and performance yes. and what we do so sure. um, yeah I just like the relevance of it everywhere and super super cool what have you applied from psych into swimming? Working with Herbie, mm -hmm. uh, my my coach here at ASU, he was also a psych major. Okay. And he has us like observe a lot, kind of just be aware of the thoughts going on in your mind, mm -hmm. maybe not attaching to them so much and just like observing, having this like overall awareness and presence, Damn. which has helped a lot. Yeah. Um, I think That's just so to be sick. not overwhelmed by like the chaos when you go to like a really high level meet. Yeah. Like how do you, what is something that you apply? Um, well, I love that. And <clears throat> I try to apply that. But something I feel like I apply with my psychology background is just knowing how important it is. And, and that yeah. might sound kind of like a little bit of a cop-out answer at first, but bear with me. Yeah. I think just yeah. having an appreciation for the inner workings of you know our minds make it so that when I when there is a problem and there and I'm always you know facing those at high high level high pressure situations yeah. it's like okay this, this is something that I need to overcome now how do I fix this and it's having yeah. that like problem solving <laughs> mindset of psychology yeah. where it's like this is this is something that I don't like the way it's working right now or this is something where my friend doesn't like the way their situation's mm. working or between me and my coach or whatever, it's always like, how do I, how do I fix this? Yes. And, and knowing that using observation, using like just learning and reading and whatever, using uh, like therapy or whatever you want to use, like a yeah. psychologist, like a sports psychologist, whatever, like you can approach things with a problem solving yeah. mindset. Yeah. It's not just there, it's, it's, it's a tool. Yeah. And so um, that's what I would say yes. how I, I apply. And you take like kind of power back like yeah, with that too. For sure. You know, like, oh, this happened to me and now I can't do anything about it. Like you always have the ability yes. to do something. Yeah, and there's a stigma around it that's like, oh, well, if I have this weakness, then I am, and admitting the weakness is relinquishing power, but it's the actual opposite. Yes. You know, it's like Beautiful. It, it, admitting your weakness is like, okay, well, this is something that is a strength in the making. You know, yeah, that's strength so in the making. I really like that a lot. Also, like, definitely staying strapped up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guests have to buckle the up. The guests have to buckle yeah. up. Yeah, no, this, is, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Yeah, dude, the devs the are being crazy back like then, bro. I'd be out the window with my dad. <laughs> so, not only <clears throat> Drew are you an exceptional swimmer and what seems to <laughs> it's been really cool getting to know you outside of the pool um i feel like i love that like getting to know swimmers at high levels who also do things um outside of their profession and you're such a talented artist um and photographer like would you mind talking a little bit about that um we're gonna we'll link drew's instagram page oh, drew shoot. creates um it's beautiful <laughs> like what um what kind of got you started on that path have you always been what, artistic? yeah yeah and, what and, age like what yeah. when did you like start because because you guys are both like so creative outside of the pool with music mm. and photography like yeah like do you guys vibe with that like Yo. together and stuff. yeah we, i think we do vibe with that for sure yeah, yeah. the question how did i get started with that i don't remember a time not doing it to be honest with you i yeah I, period, period my parents have like little drawings that i did when i was 
like barely able to hold a crayon and it's like a little scribble that apparently i said was a ship or whatever yeah, stuff like that and so, so yeah i've always been doing stuff like that and then with photography um i got like an ipod touch mm -hmm. the first one with a camera that was like i don't know what year that was maybe like 2008 yeah 2009. i love that and i had it and i was like i would edit it super aggressively turn the saturation like all the Yo, way up so oh, that did the oh. contrast yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, <I laughs> to still, the brightness the video, like oh this this, this, this flower is, is so this, orange this is crazy <laughs> Yo, I still do that. <laughs> I didn't even picture it's like saturation. Oh, oh but you have oh. to. Well, there's yeah. some tasteful saturation up. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've always I've always loved that. It's always been a major outlet um, for me, and just uh, something I've just really really enjoyed doing. I took a few mm -hmm. classes in high school that I feel like really furthered. Uh, the pursuit of my own style, like which is photography or like art. Photography, yeah. Oh, really? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never taken any art classes, but uh, I've taken a few photography classes, and that's been interesting because I think style with that is really evolving over you know yeah. the years. But um, yeah, no, I, I thank you for asking about. It. I really, I really, really enjoy it. Um, this is a great place to be doing it too because yeah. um, I think the first uh, photography I did way back when was landscape. Yeah. And I used to think, oh, landscapes like it's too easy. It's yeah. like it's just like it's yeah. basic. But now, like I'm realizing, ten, fifteen years later, that you can be extremely intricate with what you can convey with landscape. Yeah. When when, yeah. when before I thought it was just like a this is just a mountain. That's all it is. Mm. The yeah. way you capture a mountain can be just as compelling as any surreal fine art conceptual photography so like i'm just exploring a lot of different things right now what struck me so much was the portraits that you posted and mm. the hands the photos of oh, hands yeah. Yeah. yes because Thank it's you. like how you said okay it's just a mountain or whatever it's just my hand mm -hmm. but you guys you i can't recommend it enough like you <laughs> gotta go check it out Thank like you. what wait uh you convey it must take so much like dedication yeah like the meaning behind like the hands too yeah of, like what you were saying like it's so everyone has a different story right for sure yeah i want to make a book an art book oh that's art right art books did i yeah. tell you about it hey, a little bit yeah so art books are like a big thing for photographers if you get like an art book published that'd be huge right Ooh. and so like not saying not saying i would get an art Come book published now. i'm just Come saying on. i'm just saying like that's a cool goal Stated to have but today. like I would make an art book of like on one side it would be a hand of somebody I find super interesting and on yeah. the other side like one of those hand portraits and on yes. the other side would be a handwritten note. Oh and so like, my god! So like it'd just be notes from, I don't know what it would be. Notes from, from hands. From the hands. <laughs> no, notes, no, well, notes from the hands but I, yeah. I, there'd be a more eloquent title obviously. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And also portraiture too is like one of those things where, and this is all just like you say like dedication, it's all just learning from people that are way, way, way better. and Really, really good at what they do. Those portraits are something where I was like, I used to think it's just like headshots, just like, oh, this is just yeah. I know. But what the energy you can convey yeah. through an expression, and that's yeah. the job of the photographer. Yes. To, to bring that out. And yeah. so, um, That's yeah. crazy. That's it's crazy. not. It's not the job of the art, the yeah Listen. i mean because i mean because i mean unless you're working with like a model yeah. for, for like clothing or fashion right. or something that'd be a different thing yeah. but if you're if you're trying to capture someone's essence like a political figure yeah. or yes. a or like a social figure or a sports person or just a very influential person trying yeah. to capture everything they stand for it's the job of the artist Facts. to capture that Facts. you know it's a it's a partnership mm -hmm. and you have to make them feel comfortable mm. you have to make your your subject feel comfortable showing all that they are whatever that might be so that's, crazy. Yeah. that's so awesome so we saw also on instagram on drew create that you've created this caricature called space boy oh, sam. Yeah, space boy sam <laughs> he's a g bro i mean he's like he looks so dope thank you yeah, yeah. appreciate it and we were saying uh, we think he's a little lonely <laughs> <laughs> out, oh out in space bro. Oh so we have created and it's oh. a a gift to me. <laughs> I, spilled, I spilled a little coffee. I'm sorry. But Thank you. It, so, is, guys, look at this. This is Cosmic, Cosmic Cassie. Cassie. Oh, I love it so much. This is awesome. She's got a little headphones on. Uh, you know, this is actually crazy because Space Boy Sam is really lonely. He is. I and mean, dude, we thought so. He looked like he was just floating out in space. Yeah, and his shirt was like goodbye. Yeah. He's just lonely, man. Yeah. And, and I and I thought like 
maybe he'll meet someone someday and i just i he, he, he hasn't it's not my it's not up to me i mean he's right. he's doing his own thing out there right, 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 right. Right. and cosmic cassie, <laughs> cassie and baby. what do you know <laughs> holy guys this is awesome <laughs> Yeah. Is, this, is this a planet here? A yeah. square yeah, planet. Yeah, a square planet. planet. See, I feel, well, I feel did, like you would. Yeah. Did you drop this? Yeah. <laughs> Who thinks of a square planet? <laughs> he does. <laughs> Who thinks of a square planet with rectangular rings? <laughs> he does. I wouldn't think of that. That is awesome. Well, thank you. Thank yes, you guys very much. I appreciate. Well, hey, can I can I give you guys a gift really quick? <gasps> yeah. So, um, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> Usually, like on you know talk shows like this, mm -hmm. this is this is uh, mm -hmm. there's like you know decorations right. and stuff and like props, and so I just wanted to give you guys um, the car date car. <gasps> <laughs> it's, 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 it's a decorated little car date car. Oh, yes! <laughs> you guys! Oh my god! You guys! Oh my god! You guys! <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. I can't believe it. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's kind of hard to decorate a little Lamborghini. But <gasps> a little a Lamborghini. Lamborghini. <laughs> wow. We are truly manifesting. <laughs> this is amazing. See, the, oh. the Lamborghini is a little Drew Flair there because, you know, Drew, I'm a car guy. I think, Dude, this is so. This is oh so my God. Of course. <laughs> so I figured, like, maybe, like, I don't know how it would work, but maybe, like, you. You, oh yeah, it, it opens. Oh, it opens. Oh, um, oh shit! Oh, Come oh, on now, so cute. You should have seen me <laughs> browsing Walmart toy aisle. <laughs> What's the right car? <laughs> Oh, oh, and what? the paint job is so oh, clean. Paint job is Thank so you. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. There we go. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. So since you are in photography, you know a lot about candids, <laughs> right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. And we wanted to know. So um, we wanted we to know. Want to know. <laughs> Um, what's down there? What else is down there? We wanted to know Ugh. what this can did for you. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know what this can did for Drew. Yeah. So I, I, I got to <laughs> give a spoon? What? Uh, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 but I, I got to give it a taste, right? Oh, oh, shit. I thought I, was supposed to, I thought I was supposed to give it a taste let me know what it did for me. Uh, okay, actually, go ahead. No, 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 no. Wait, so, so, <laughs> no, no, no. so what, I mean, what is it doing for me? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what did, yeah, what it like has when, it done for you? When you see this. When I see this. And have you ever used it? Like, oh, well, I mean, it's October, though. It's, it is fall time, mm -hmm. and this makes me want to make a pumpkin pie. Period. So that's what this can did. It reminded me of some pumpkin pie of times gone by. Let's go! Come on, couldn't ask for a better answer. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> All right. We were. We were. We wanted to know mm -hmm. what this can did. Oh God! For I, you. I love a lot of different types of milk, guys. What and, kinds? Well, I like. I. I <laughs> what you say? Oh, oh milk. Oat milk. <laughs> I do like oat milk. I like oat uh, milk. Oat milk's good. Oat milk's oh, good. Like, yeah. like warmed up. Um, yeah, like just un untouched. This is my life force. <laughs> I want this all the time. <laughs> I'll tell you what. And uh, you can tell sure. that it's full of sustenance because it's got yeah. almost quadruple the calories of the pumpkin puree. Yes. So all right. And then lastly, what did, did uh, wanted to know what this, this can did. did for you? Yeah. Beans. Beans. <laughs> Musical fruit. Mm -hmm. the, the more, more you eat, eat yeah, the, right. more the more you tube. But the more you too, the, the more better you feel. So let's have beans for every meal. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh shit. I did not have a second part. That's what these cans did. Nice. I'll tell you what. Yeah, your, your can did well. Nice. Your can, can did. did. Can Very did. well. Can did. Can did. That's what these cans can did. did. Candid. <clears throat> so, I guess your work isn't so much about candids. It's about being really intentional. Mm -hmm. So, could you talk a little bit more about what we saw yesterday when we were doing research? Your vlogs, too. Mm. Another side of your yeah. artistry. Dude, your vlogs are crazy, bro. Yeah. They're, They're so awesome. good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, you want me to talk about it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's well, like kind of a poor setup. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna unbuckle for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get loose. Yeah, get loose, get loose. Yeah, the vlogs were 
a fun little, I would say, experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It was something I was dying to try at some point. I was like, I want to start a weekly vlog. It'd be fun. Yeah. I love making videos. I, I had yeah. since I was a kid. Yeah. I, I like would make videos about team trips to the OTC when I was in high school, about meets or about travel, like travel, like trips, like vacations and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I want to try like a weekly vlog, and but I want it to be like with swimmers, because yeah. like, that, that's obviously like who we spend all of our time with for the most part. But it's hard to do anything else, right? Mm -hmm. And because we we are on the schedule and we get it, but also like not all about swimming, which kind of like what this this is, right? Like yeah. there's definitely a you know like a tinge yeah. of swim, yeah. but sure. it's like let's talk about anything from coconut milk, from, <laughs> from, yeah, from the coconut milk to, to the. Uh, to you know, <laughs> photography, to art, to psychology, any all these other yeah. things, right? Yeah. And so I just like, I was like, I just want to have a camera around for what we would do on a normal day anyway. Yes. And like, it seemed a little bit like extra, but that's honestly, we were, we were just always thinking of random things to do. It was a really, really fun time. People liked it. There's still people that actually ask about it too. Really? Yeah. People enjoyed it. It was no, a it was little sick. thing. The, we watched the first episode. The pouring the water oh yeah, yeah it's, no, it's, so just, it's just like a little random thing right yeah. and uh like it, things like that would always just randomly happen so it's fun to capture that um yeah. and i'm gonna look back on those two and enjoy them but yeah. it was also really hard to do during a full school schedule oh right yeah, that was which impressive. i had and then also full swim and yeah. and then like all the editing and stuff and also all my, my other things as well like I, I didn't want it to be i didn't want my life to become like right a vlog, right i just want to yeah. Throw an egg at someone's back just for the hell of it. I know, that must have hurt so bad. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I thought I did for the hell of it. Was it you that threw it? Nah, it was somebody Yo, else. Yo, someone, whoever threw that was, was <laughs> Shout out for something. <laughs> but like, and, and also like, I think some of those moments are, are, are better enjoyed just like, oh, remember that versus yeah. like putting it out. But yeah. um, there's a balance for sure. Definitely. And I really enjoyed that. And, and I would, I, I might do it again, but I, yeah. I enjoy doing it like with trips and stuff. So like, mm. yes. who knows, maybe at the OTC we can do, a, I can do like a little like yeah. day, day yeah. with the you know asu crew it's, are you yeah. going to OTC? i'm not going to mm. otc sprint crew sprint crew yeah but anyway yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's the situation with the vlogs so you that's were filming great. a lot in texas obviously like yes. you said you started in high school but mm -hmm. so how was your time in texas like how did you love being on the team like what was the team like what was eddie like and how did you kind of transition into your professional career oh my gosh well I knew I wanted to go to Texas when I was a freshman in high school. Um, mm. Also, actually, ironically, because of YouTube a little bit, Swim Swam would like post videos of the Eddie Reese invite or mm. class relays yes. and stuff like that. Like, yeah. They seem so cool. And also, they were just winning year after year, too, which was yeah. sick. Yeah. I was like, I want to go there. I took one trip, yeah. and I committed. I was like, this wow. is where I want to be. And, and, and never never looked back, never second-guessed it, and, and it was the perfect, perfect experience. And yeah. I, oh, I really, really, really loved it. And of course, yeah, Eddie's amazing. The, the way he just cares about people as a person is, mm -hmm. I think, what has been his consistent touch yes. um, for so, so long is like he will always prioritize like, you know, your happiness and well-being, which is really special. It just attracts really, really good people. I think there's yeah. such a diverse group of guys on that team where everybody's so different that in a way because everybody has their own perfect little spot mm -hmm. yeah it's almost even more cohesive yeah because it's not like there's like four or five guys over here for like it's right. like at least in my experience like there were just so many random things happening all the time yeah it was like you're just always floating around and it, and it almost weird. became homogenous because of that which was kind of oh. cool um and it, it took on a life of its own. So I really enjoyed it. It was awesome. Yeah. I love Texas. And I take a chance to go back every, every chance I get. And I, I keep up with those guys a lot. And yeah, they're, you know, some of my best friends in the world. So yeah. let's go. Love yeah, Texas. So yeah. Come on. Hook them. Hook them for you. Hook them for you right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. They're in Georgia and like Texas always had a good relationship. Yeah. yeah. They're long dogs. Long dogs. <laughs> <laughs> one horn, one ear. And so, as you like completed your career at Texas, which, like we said, at five time NCAA champion reign, how were you able to transition into your professional career and oh, choose yes. ASU? Yeah, so um, I knew I wanted, and this is like, I think a lot of people in the swim world at least mm -hmm. think that some of these moves, well, maybe for me, is about you know searching for what's better because i spent a year at carmel at home you know i think this people like oh he could have you know been better off at texas could have been better off here or there or whatever but i also swimming isn't my sole 
consideration. Yeah. For sure. You know, and so did I go to Carmel because I thought there's a really good opportunity there with training? Yes. Mm. Am I here because there's a really great opportunity with training? Of course, it's the best in the world, in yes. my opinion. Yes. But I also think that there's so much to offer in terms of like my life experience when I went home. Like there was some tremendous like things that I gained and benefited from going home. Mm -hmm. And that was really, really important to me. And coming here, total blank slate, which has been mm -hmm. so cool. Like I've never it's had cool. anything like this before. Yeah, it's ever. super cool. Yeah. Ever. Like think about when you go to college and you're like, I'm here, I get to start my life, but you're only 18 years old and you yeah. have no clue what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'm only 23. Yeah. And and so like I'm still very, very young, but it's like at least there's five more years of like kind of figuring out a little bit more. Yeah. And now I get to kind of have that like now I'm starting a new chapter experience. That's and so sick. Um, yeah, and that's that's kind of what was part of my transition into pro swimming is how do I sustain the best, how do I cultivate like the best mindset? Because that's yeah. what pro swimming is. Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. You know, it it's, is. it's like, it it's so hard. It is. Yeah. So how do you stay you're happy? Happy, motivated, yeah. everything. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like when you're showing up and you're doing crazy stuff, you got to have something to look forward to in between and after. And so, yes. yeah. um, and and yeah, so that's something I really, really considered as well. But um, yeah, and I, and I didn't really leave Texas because I like, I like didn't like it or anything. That was not the case at all. It's just, I, yeah. I definitely felt ready to have a new experience and that was all yeah. it was. And whenever I go back to Texas, it's, it's always yeah. great. I love training with the guys. I love training with Eddie and Wyatt. But um, yeah, just like successive new experiences is something I love. Like that new stimulation, something totally new. Yeah. And so, yeah. I think it's so important to have, yeah. to like challenge yourself in different ways and to like uh, be able to have yourself adapt to change because that's how you grow because it's like you have to swim it's almost like just for yourself like you don't have the team to yeah, be like yeah. we're going for a team title like this is gonna yeah, be you true. know and you kind of like relay experiences yeah. for your college team it's a totally different atmosphere yeah. than team usa relays which are like so amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is definitely like where do I find my greater purpose now that I yeah. am no longer a collegiate athlete? True. Like the first year I got out of college, that was like the hardest transition, I feel like. Mm. And then, so many people have that. Yeah. Yeah. Just being like, even like morning practice, you like wake up, you're like, this is a choice. Yeah. Yeah. I get to, I could maybe sleep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, yeah. Um, dude, and then, <laughs> like you were saying, like, um, like training with Bob and like these practices we're doing right now, huh. it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And I'll tell you what, this guy's saving me, and I talk about it all the time. <laughs> this is the first time you're hearing about it. But I talk yeah. about this all the time to Luca, really a lot of people that will listen. Um, Luca Orlando, my roommate. Like the vibe that Jay has, I can tell that that's how he operates because he just will look at a workout. He'll just be like, "Oh my god," <laughs> and, and then. And then It'll be like probably an sometimes an hour and twenty minutes, pretty much straight, with maybe like three or four seconds on the wall, and all the all the time on that wall, he just says, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> and just keeps going, but it's not like a I hate this. It's like, can you believe this? This is crazy. <laughs> like, are you like, kidding? Like, me? Like, are you, are you kidding, kidding me? me? <laughs> and he's just like, is, "This is crazy, right?" Let's We're, just keep going. That's yeah. six a.m. What? <laughs> six six a.m. Seven k. Let's yeah. go, bro. Eight point one this morning. <laughs> 8.1k but dude you you definitely changed my vibe too for real it's like yeah. that early in the morning it's like <laughs> you and me were probably the only ones that are like looking at each other like <laughs> <laughs> yeah like yo this is crazy but let's go yeah yeah no and, and you're right it is a choice and and there are moments too where it's actually really easy to feel extremely lucky like i've been feeling that a lot lately yeah like the, towards the end of the afternoon workouts like yeah. when i'm struggling but I'm also like almost there and I'm just looking up at the blue sky like, yo, this is so sick. Yeah. So this sick. beautiful day. So I'm just good. soaking it up. I'm doing what I love anyway. I, I would be, do I did this for 15 years anyway. Now this is my like, job yeah. yeah. and this is what I get to do. And this is so cool. And yeah. so on the flip side of, God, this is crazy. Yeah. I, I, I gotta, I gotta supplement this suffering outside the pool. <laughs> flip side, yeah. I get to really bask in the glory of the yeah. pool time, you know, and, and, yeah, I mean, so there's a, there's always a spectrum with these things, yeah. but so um, and you find yourself all over the place. Yeah. On it. But it's fun. Life does go mm -hmm. up and down and throws you challenges. But if you're able to have a dope perspective, look up in the sky and be like, yeah. dude, my life is amazing. So yeah, it is. Regardless of 
this 8k workout yeah we get to swim outside every yeah. day like the sunrise watching the sunrise and during morning practice you can't beat it you can't beat it true <laughs> it has been such a pleasure having you so we would love to finish with okay. our final segment okay. called i know what this is gonna be i think <laughs> drew or false oh oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay. drew or false you pee in the pool uh drew drew or false <laughs> you like soggy cereal conditionally drew okay Drew or false, you set multiple alarms in the morning? Drew. Okay. Nice. Okay. Drew or false, you take naps? Drew. Drew, Drew, Drew or Drew. false, do you like to cook? Drew. What? Wow. <laughs> um, Drew or false? <laughs> Drew, Drew. Or false, Drew. Drew. Are you a fan of carrots? Uh, Drew. Okay. <laughs> Drew or false, Jay can beat you in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Did you guys like have a comp a tournament right now? Best two of three. All right, I think I'm gonna. Cause he he, he got in my head. He knows what I do now, so I'm gonna have to, have to get ahead. He of is him. honestly Yo, pretty. Yo, there is a trick. So if you do this, <laughs> and then if you look into this hole, right here, <laughs> you is it, it predicts like what you should do. See what? if you can, if you can if you can tell some of them do rock paper scissors, you can tell what they're gonna do in any aspect of their life. Yeah. Okay. This is crazy. All right, let's All right, ready? What are you doing? Best two out of three? Best two out of three. Just, right, here we ready? go. Dude, I should wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look both, I don't both know. sides. Dude, I keep getting paper. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I didn't think you had that in you. No scissors all game and you pulled out the last second. No shot did that just happen. My cheeks, my cheeks. That was amazing. I forgot to look through the hole of the on the last one. Hey, good game though. Right. True or false? You're a good <laughs> singer. Uh, false. Damn. Damn. I do. I do sing constantly, though. Okay. I sing nonstop. Yeah. But what's it's your, terrible. What's your prime spot? Yeah. Prime spot to sing? Yeah. Car. Hmm? Shower. Oh, car for sure. Car for sure. The acoustics in here. Here's what I do sometimes. I'll, mm. I I start singing as hard as I can while the music's playing. Yes. And I try, like, and I think, because I'm like with it, I sound good. I do good. And, then, and, then I, and then I psych myself out and I, and I just, I, I press the mute button really quick and, and I'm like, oh, I sound terrible. <laughs> no. I, I, but I just try to kill the music and see if yeah. I can keep it going, but yeah. it never works. That's a good exercise. <laughs> but you're never, you're never like satisfied. <laughs> uh, Dude, there, there, sure there's, been a, there's been a few times where I'm like, wait, Ooh, I hit that falsetto pretty cool. Wait, actually, mm -hmm. there might be some there. <laughs> what, like what songs do you think? I think I think if I had to actually do something, it'd be like folk acoustic. acoustic oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't I don't have it in me for the more bellicose. Oh, uh, like like Moon Taxi or something. Like Mumford and Sons. Yeah. Oh. Like or like Lumineers or. Oh Mumford yeah. Like Vance Joy maybe. Mm. Yeah. Oh Mount Joy. Is that what you oh, I said Vance Joy, but Mount Joy. Hell yeah. Yeah. Astro Band. Yeah. Yeah. Astro Band. He's so good. <laughs> Drew or false? You're a munch. I heard. Drew. Uh, Drew or false? You spend a hundred bands in Chanelli. Oh, Drew. And you shake it like jelly. Drew. And our final. <laughs> and our final. No, that was great. <laughs> and our final. Drew or false? You haven't been kibbing this entire episode. I ain't kibbed once, Drew. There we go. Yeah! Thank you so much, Drew. Thank you. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Till next time. Till next time. Peace.